Safi Bakal, Loon Shots, How to Nurture the Crazy Ideas that Win Wars, Cure Diseases, and Transform Industries. Welcome to the world of Loon Shots, where crazy ideas that seem unhinged ultimately have the power to change the world. In this book summary, you'll learn about the importance of nurturing and investing in innovative, seemingly far-fetched ideas and how organizations often fail to follow through on them. Through compelling examples like Nokia and the Allies' victory in World War II, we will explore the significance of structures that encourage innovation over narrow-mindedness. Delve into the secrets of successful organizations that thrived by balancing growth, risk-taking, and exploration of previously uncharted territories. The summary will provide insights on how you can cultivate a culture of possibility within your own organization, leading to transformative outcomes. Innovating the right way. Innovation is key to success, but nurturing path-breaking ideas can be a challenge. Many organizations fail at nurturing loon shots, ideas that seem positively unhinged right up to the moment they turn the world on its head. While it is often argued that culture is the most critical factor for nurturing innovation, Nokia's story shows that it's not that simple. As organizations grow, employees' stakes in projects decrease, and companies become franchise operations dedicated to protecting the parts of their businesses that are already successful. This conservative mindset breeds a lack of imagination and risk-taking, which leads to innovation falling by the wayside. But this doesn't have to be the case. Organizations can put structures in place that encourage innovation and allow loon shots to thrive. The Cost of Complacency The Allies' victory over Nazi Germany during World War II was a defining moment of the century. However, the outcome could have been different if prediction markets existed in 1939. The secret war race to develop effective weapons favoring the Axis powers because the Allies lagged behind. Despite having the necessary know-how, Americans failed to nurture breakthroughs, falling behind in developing a new generation of submarines and planes. For example, the discovery of radar by two American radio scientists went unnoticed, even after it had the potential to revolutionize naval warfare and create an early warning system for enemy aircraft. The complacency of military planners proved fatal when Pearl Harbor was attacked by Japanese bombers on December 7, 1941, as their warning system was still being field tested. The attack cost the lives of 2,403 servicemen and was a shocking lesson in the dangers of complacency. Vannevar Bush would pioneer a new approach to military planning, showing the importance of innovation and learning from past mistakes. The Power of Innovation the Office for Scientific Research and Development, OSRD, was founded during World War II to explore seemingly bizarre ideas that the military was too conservative to pursue. The engineer Vannevar Bush established the department, comprised of non-military men, to nurture loon shots while letting generals focus on conventional weaponry. The OSRD commissioned 19 industrial labs and 32 academic institutions to carry out research on its behalf recruiting an eccentric investment banker named Alfred Lee Loomis to help. Loomis assembled a team of engineers and physicists to develop a portable radar system using microwave that produced radar images so precise they could detect objects as small as submarine periscopes. This technology was valuable in solving America's greatest logistical headache in the war against Germany by keeping supplies flowing across the Atlantic. The deployment of microwave radar marked the turning point of the Battle of the Atlantic. The Power of Innovation This book summary recounts the story of Theodore Vail, who transformed AT&T from a struggling telecommunications giant into a global leader through the power of fundamental research. By establishing a new department to pursue innovation, Vail and his team were able to overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles and develop groundbreaking technologies. This story intersects with that of Vannevar Bush, who also understood the importance of nurturing innovation and recruited Vail's colleague to help the U.S. military during World War I. The book highlights the vital role of innovation in achieving success, both in business and on the battlefield. The bush Vale Rules Innovators cannot succeed alone, they need enablers to champion their work, 
which is where the Bushvale rules come in. Rule 1, shelter the artists responsible for high-risk, early-stage ideas from soldiers responsible for managing successful parts of an organization. Embryonic ideas are often ignored by soldiers who prefer ready-to-launch products and projects. Rule 2, recognize the importance of both artists and soldiers, as seen in Steve Jobs' approach at Apple. Both groups should be supported, as tensions between them can lead to failure. Rule 3, act as an intermediary between artists and soldiers to manage the transfer from creators to users. Bush and Vale's approach was to not micromanage loonshot projects but to manage the weakest link in the chain that leads to breakthroughs. Balancing Innovation and Strategy This summary discusses the importance of balancing innovation and strategy through the fascinating stories of Pan AM Airlines and American Airlines. In this part of the book summary, we explore the importance of balancing innovation and strategy through the stories of two airlines, Pan AM and American Airlines. Pan AM, founded in the 1920s by J.T. Tripp, relied heavily on cutting-edge products to become the largest airline in the world. By adopting the latest products, especially aircraft engines, Pan AM launched the jet age and prospered until disaster struck in 1987 when the airline industry was deregulated. The market now set the rates, and Pan AM was suddenly surrounded by cheaper competition, causing the company to go bankrupt in 1991. On the other hand, American Airlines focused on strategic innovation and introduced the first two-tier pay system shortly after deregulation. Employees hired before 1978 retained their old salaries while later hires entered the lower pay, B scale. These savings helped American Airlines buy new planes, expand the company, create new jobs, and keep skeptical unions on side. By leveraging the benefits of being a large company and lowering labor costs, American closed the gap on startups with smaller overheads but more limited reach. These contrasting stories demonstrate that innovation and strategy must be balanced to succeed in a fast-changing business environment. Companies that rely too heavily on products risk becoming obsolete or outpaced by competitors, while those that focus solely on strategy may miss out on opportunities for growth. The key is to find a balance between the two approaches, continuously assessing and adjusting based on market trends and customer needs. The Dangers of Overzealous Leaders The downfall of Polaroid serves as a cautionary tale for organizations with overbearing leaders who stifle innovation. Despite pioneering impressive advancements in photography, Polaroid's founder Edwin Land's insistence on championing his favorite project, Polavision, led to the company's decline. The expensive and impractical product flopped in the market, and the company failed to pivot towards digital imaging, despite Land having prior knowledge of its potential. Land's unwavering control over the company's research labs and preference for film over cameras showcased his overzealous nature. The lesson learned is that leaders who prioritize their own interests and ideas above those of the team can lead to missed opportunities and downfall. Cultivating Loon Shots the success of loon shots lies not only in internal organizational structures, but also in the context outside the organization. The book explores the importance of nurturing crazy ideas and protecting fragile ones. It uses the examples of the Star Wars franchise and the scientific revolution to illustrate the significance of never giving up and finding alternative ways to make loon shots work. The key takeaway is to create an environment that supports out-of-the-box thinking and leaves room for creative freedom. In conclusion, Loonshots teaches us that transformative ideas often come from the most unexpected places, and it is crucial for organizations to create structures that foster and actively encourage these breakthrough innovations. Vannevar Bush and Theodore Vale's pioneering strategies exemplify the importance of protecting and nurturing loonshots within organizations. To successfully bring these brilliant ideas to life, it is essential for leaders to strike a balance between supporting and guiding their innovative team members, while also protecting and sustaining the already successful aspects of their operations. By embracing the unconventional, resisting complacency, and overcoming the Moses trap, organizations have created revolutionary products and strategies that enhance industries and lives. 
Learning from these lessons and applying the bush veil rules can enable future generations to unlock the potential of loonshots and truly change the world.